last resort, but how hard is that for you to have to go to the position player there at the end? Yes, thanks. Uh, Alberto picked us up big time, though, and um, unfortunately those things happen throughout the season, but um, obviously you hope it's a really rare occurrence and happened to us today, but uh, Hanser picked us up big time. How tough is that lineup? I mean, they're just all serious. It just yeah, they're missing. How many the guys are they missing too? You know, bottom line is you got to execute. And uh, you know, when you're, and we, I feel like we were ahead in the count a lot of the series. And you get two strikes, guys battling, um, but you just can't, you just can't miss in the middle um, or on the other side of the plate. And two are good players. They're going to hurt you. And um, you know, we just did that way too often this series. A week ago, you beat the Yankees two out of three. This weekend didn't turn out nearly the same. Does this kind of illustrate the gap that you, you know, that you're facing? Yeah, I, mean, I thought we played good the first two games here. I mean, that way we had chances to win. We had the lead both both games and, and played really well. We just um, kind of gave it up there at the end in, in, in both games. Um, you know, today was you no, know, not our day. Um, they swung the bat great and. Um, so I feel really good about the five of the six games we, we played against them. Um, love the way we, we compete and love the way we play defense. And, you know, we just got to execute a little better on the mound in big spots. And um, when you don't, they, they don't just drive in a run with a single up the middle. They, they go in the seats, and uh, that's what good teams do. Do you think you might need a fresh arm for the bullpen after this? Well, I definitely was thinking that during the game, but then Hanser picked us up. So it's something we're going to discuss here after after this. Um, but there was, you know, when you're in a game like that, you, you're, think, you're starting to think about tomorrow. Um, start thinking about means to start two days from now. So there's a lot of guys that I didn't want to pitch. And, um, you know, Hanser picked us up big time by uh, getting the last three outs. Brandon, do you view this as a little bit of a challenge for the young guys to, to show a little resilience tomorrow, come back and, and shake this off? Yeah, I mean, it's um, you, you you hope that you, you shake this off and you come back. Uh, baseball's a beautiful thing and that you got, you got one tomorrow night and uh, we got Oakland coming into town. And so I think we're, we're ready to go. And uh, I think the guard guys are going to get over it quickly and move on to tomorrow. How do you decide on Hanser as, as the guy to do that? <laughs> did he volunteer or did you volunteer? Names in the hat. Um, <laughs> uh, no, he didn't volunteer. I, I just asked him if he would do it. And he was typical Hanser, super pro, and um, said he would do it no problem. I think I kind of surprised. I, I don't think he knew I was – I said it in the – I think it was before the 8th. Um, I brought it up to him. And – he, was, he said no problem, but then when I, when I went out there, he was, I think he was a little taken back. He wasn't know, he didn't know if I was kidding or not. Did, did you, had you and Brocale discussed, you know, possible position players if it got to this? Yeah, we talked about it before, just in case something like this does happen, and um, unfortunately it happened second week of the season. Are you, are you familiar with Chris's terrific performance against the Red Sox? Seriously. What's that now? A few years ago, Chris Davis. I do, yeah, I am aware of that, yeah. I did hear that story. So on the mound? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just I picked Hanser. I didn't want to put the spotlight on him. And, you know, I just wanted him I just wanted Hanser to try to get three outs any way he could and he did. So talk talk a little bit about him beside that. He's hitting every every yeah. game he's had in at bat, he's hit. He broke up the no hitter. He he got another he got the your only run scoring hit today. Playing so well. Um Offensively, defensively, the energy the guy has, I'm sure you guys see when you're in the clubhouse, the energy he has is infectious. He's an unbelievable teammate. And he grinds out at bats and he puts the ball in play, makes the plays defensively. You know, we're turning a lot of double plays. He's been a part of a lot of them. Um, yeah, I'm just so impressed with how he's playing and, and uh, it's, you know, it's awesome to have him on our club. What did you think of uh, Chris's at bats today? Well, you know, he flew out a couple times. Um, I haven't talked to him about it since, but, you know, he's faced a tough lefty there, Tarpley, at the end, and um, that one didn't go as well. But, yeah, I mean, I hope he feels like he's making progress. He took a couple decent passes on those fly balls. Um, just didn't happen. What did you think of David Hess today? I thought David would just – I thought he had just good stuff again. I just felt like he missed and, and um, he just didn't execute – 
I think he's trying to go up to Sanchez, didn't go up enough. Um, Frank Frazier was sitting slider on him. I, I just, he pitched okay. He just didn't put away guys like he did in Toronto. And um, but he gave us five innings and kept us in it for a while. Um, but yeah, just didn't, wasn't quite as sharp as he was in Toronto. Is one of the challenges with the young guys, I'm thinking of Mike Wright too, has Mike Wright, that they kind of go with the momentum, you know, they get going good and then when something goes wrong, there's young and it, it, you see him kind of start to paint a little bit and kind of get out of what they were doing. Yeah, I just see misses, that's what I see. I see just misses in bad, bad spots on the plate when they have an advantageous count and not being able to put a guy away and not an understanding when, it's a, when you have a good major league hitter to be able to understand that there's spots that I cannot, I'm not going to go to and this is where I'm going. And we, this first, you know, when we've gotten hurt this first week, it's been leak backs in the middle. If we're trying to elevate, not elevate enough. Um, sliders that catch too much of the plate when we have, when we have um, the advantage. Those type of things. And it's not our stuff. It's about being able to execute the stuff. And to be able to compete at a high level in this league, you have to be able to do that against teams like that. And um, when you don't, they hit homers. And that's what these guys did. Brandon, is that execution individualized to the pitcher? Or are there some general things that the staff can do to help with that? A little better location. I think it's just everybody at a, at a whole. I mean, I, I think guys know when they execute. Um, when you have big league stuff and you execute, you're you're going to uh, have success. Um, when you have bad misses in the middle or, or elevate to the wrong side of the plate, um, good hitters are going to let you know, especially, you know, elite type teams and, and, and um, good clubs. And you might be able to get away with it a little bit and sometimes against teams that are average. But when you have when you're facing a good lineup, uh, you better be able to uh, locate um, to get them off the barrel. And, you know, we just made some mistakes this series. Hopefully we're going to learn from them and get better from it.